All right, give a little update on the boat. Just put the sump system in for the shower and the air conditioner. It's bolted down, got the hoses all hooked up, so it's starting to get a little warm around here, so I can still come out here and work on this boat even when it starts getting about 80, 90 degrees outside. I'll be nice and cool with my, my handy dandy air conditioner I installed. So I got all the carpet put up in the back bedroom here, or the aft cabin, whatever the hell you want to call it. Oh, got all that. Looks all nice, very happy with it. Got a couple seams here and there. I'm, I mean, I'm not a pro, so I did kind of the best I could. Got a direction backwards on a couple of them, so the colors kind of don't quite match because you're looking at it from a couple different directions, but I mean, pfft, I'm not worried about it. So, but it, it came out pretty good. Just a couple little seams here and there, but nothing bad. Got those wires, got to hide those. Those are for the lights. Put me a nice little LED jammy up here. You can get these off of uh, Amazon or eBay. They they wind up being about nine or ten bucks a piece, depending on if you buy them in a pack or not. They are pretty bright. I checked the amp draw on them. They only draw five watts at full brightness, so. And they put out a lot of light. They light up shit pretty damn good. I use these under counter lights for the main cabin. Got a pack of four, I think it was like 40 bucks. Um, they actually light up pretty good. These draw about six watts a piece. But not too unhappy with that. So. They light up pretty good. Everything in here is pretty bright. So right now, I guess 24 watts plus that. So looking at like maybe two and a half amps, not quite two and a half amps with the lights that's in here. Oh, actually, I forgot about that one too. So, what, five, five, so what, a little over, like 35 watts. Yeah, that's not bad. Three, three amps. That's not bad. I'm going to use a 200 amp hour battery, so... You know, if I just have lights on, that'll last a couple damn days. So I am very happy with those. They were definitely worth the money. Get our kitchenette. Closer to getting done. I got stick on tiles for the walls. Make these look nice. I don't want, I've, I've already done about as much carpet as I want to do. It's looking a little too carpety in here. So this up here fell down because I use crappy uh, adhesive. That was like one of the first pieces of carpet I put in for the ceiling before I knew the right adhesive to buy. So, but I ain't worried about it. that. I didn't like the way it came out the first place anyway, so I was gonna pull it down anyway, so ain't no big thing. Just get one solid piece, do all that, all those windows and all that stuff. So, but we are coming along. We got our drain, the air conditioner under here hooked up. Goes down to the floor, hooks to our drain pan, goes under the floor right there, and then pops out right there. Goes into the sump system. So, very happy with that. So, I haven't done much of anything with the bathroom. I'm going to build that wall, build a wall right there, cover all that crap up. But I am going to do uh, vinyl in here so everything is waterproof why they put carpet in a bathroom that's supposed to double as a shower i never could quite understand that because you're going to get mold and mildew everywhere in there so we are going to like vinyl tile like the stuff that you would put in your bathroom get a nice pattern and just do the whole room up in that that way it stays waterproof and i've already bought all the fixtures i just got to clean all this shit out give me a nice electric toilet fuck it manual bullshit just kind of sweep this thing out. It's a little dirty right now. I haven't really done much of anything in here. But we'll get to it. But I got about three months left. And then it is time to party. The carpet has just been killing me for time. Just so frustrating getting this shit up there to where it'll stick. I mean, I got a couple spots that came a little bit loose, but... What I normally do is just cut like a pinhole in it and take the hot glue gun and just uh, pump some glue back there and then stick it up and it's 
that's actually been working pretty good for any spots to come loose. So the carpet pretty much will come apart before that thing falls off the roof. So hot glue works pretty damn good. So. Get some more, a few little more pieces of little carpet here and there, but not much. But I think we'll be ready for for summer. So I'll do another update later on. All right, later.